is it safe to iterate over a error list while removing its element at the same time you will get a concurrency exception i believe there is one concurrent uh, access exception so why string is immutable string is immutable right it is immutable yes. to increase the performance to increase the performance yes. of application so you don't need to create multiple objects there will be no uh, multiple objects if we are using multiple strings okay so so how does garbage collection prevent a java application from going out of memory we can say it, it will help to prevent but it cannot surely surely say that if jvm is uh, so garbage collector is there that jvm won't crash it would happen it would go out of memory but what it does basically now suppose i have a lot of data like there are a lot of gc algorithms are there and we can use it as per our convenience from java 17 lot of till java 17 they are introducing new and new but few i know like generation gar garbage or collection algorithm so what happens uh, when our objects are, are dereferenced the dereference or they do not have any cyclic difference uh, cyclic dependency or referencing or it has been assigned to null so it is of no use to us in a program so in a first generation it checks the age of that so basically mm. it is an aging principle it swipes them so what happens jvm calls the gc gc internally and gc uh, so gc will finalize those methods so for jvm to collect those finalize is there so it will call all the data which is on the first swap it will clear all the data which is no, no more a link and those data which are linked like then it would be moved to the first generation so on the first instance when jvm calls the sweep so basically it is stop the world concept where everything will be stopped and uh, all who are nerd would be collected and some of them would be moved to the first layer from the first level so next time when the jvm runs maybe their use has completed or their cyclic dependency is over or their work is over then that that would be clear after their first move and there are some data which would move to the perm gen so perm gen is a permanent gen generation space which has been moved in the java as a meta meta space in java 8 but this memory are permanent like our hash map is there it would be there in the permanent gen generation all the time till the application gets closed so whenever jvm removes the data it basically frees your memory it optimizes your memory and it makes you available from java 8 it is since you have meta space you get a lot of space for perm gen previously you need to define now it takes the space of the windows machine or the linux machine wherever java is installed it takes that meta space and it uses it utilizes as perm gen so these are the few things where uh, garbage collection helps to improvise in your application how you can avoid uh, the deadlock situation or is it possible to do that so multiple threads are trying to trying to get the same resource and there are two resources and each thread is picking i mean lo already locked uh, with those resources so nobody is leaving the resource nobody is getting the resource usually if you use a spring framework it doesn't happen because that is taken care of us and uh, if you do it manually produce a deadlock manually yes it is possible uh, yeah but in spring framework and also you other can resources get resources that we just talked about so at pp like a so but in spring framework also you can get the deadlock situation uh, as of now i have not encountered any mostly flow with spring is like a linear loop so you have like for the request to give a response if you have different subject but either with spring batch it is also the same coming as of now i have not encountered any scenario which what is immutable class uh immutable class are things where which property you do not change at run time like after it is created so once you create the immutable class you are not supposed to change the property inside of it uh if you need to change the property inside of it you need to create a new instance of that particular class and then uh, change the property in your class there is the some keywords in exception like throw throws do you know about that yes yeah yes uh, so throw throw an exception manually like a throw new keyword uh, that a particular mm -hmm. exception whatever you want to throw up in the particular uh, uh, situation so what will be the throws means uh, we, we will define that particular throws in the uh, method level Th that way uh, the difference between that uh, those two will be so that is the difference between the those two if you want to throw in a custom like a whatever the exception if you want to throw uh, manually like uh, so you can use that throw and new that mm -hmm. keyword so uh, whatever that that particular things we will throws in the method level uh, while yeah. you are defining that particular thing you will define that particular throws uh, do you know what is the importance of hash code and equals method in java 
equals we will define in the while uh, creating that particular thing we will override that particular thing equals mm. so if you define that particular thing so to compare two uh, objects we can use that particular equals mm. so when you override that particular thing uh, based on the objects present in the particular class uh, so we will define that particular equals method mm. so for that that one will be useful to compare the two objects like uh, so we can compare the two classes uh, objects uh, with that one so another one is like a hash code also while overriding that one uh, we can define that hash code method also so i don't know like uh, exact importance of that uh, hash code so but uh, it will be it will define a, a particular uh, id with for the particular uh, class i think uh, so uh, that one only i know about a uh, hash code okay, okay. Uh, can you tell me what is fail fast and fail safe uh, uh, fail fast and fail safe yeah uh, it's re- regarding the u- unit testing or something no, uh, tell- it is related to collection so, do you know what is iterator Yes, yes, yes. Uh, in the uh, collections, uh, I know like uh, iterator. This iterator has a fail-safe properties. So there are two things: fail-safe and fail-fast. So Sorry you haven't that. heard? Yeah. Okay, no yes. problem. Uh, do you know the purpose yeah. of finalize method? Finalize method. Why um, use it? And if we use it, what will happen? Finalize method itself, yeah. right? Okay. Sorry. No I problem. Don't... No problem. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Have you heard about SCP string constant pool? the string will use that particular uh, pool only i think uh, yes. that way yes yes so okay. how this string constant pool where exactly it resides it's a part of heap memory okay okay it's a part yeah. of heap memory 